responsibilities about what happens outside. The year is turning. The sun's rays strike a nest of red ants. Ertzi has a use for them. Crushed or alarmed, the ants release formic acid. The burning liquid drives out tiny parasites hidden in his beard and hair after the long winter. Spring means fresh grass too, to reline his deer skin boots. The last of the snow melt provides an icy shower and another variety of food for him and his companions. They move freely without their winter furs to hamper them. In the unpolluted waters, it's easy to spot a delicacy, a freshwater crayfish to take back. Above the tree line, at 2,000 meters, spring is not so advanced. Ibex search unconcernedly for herbs. They have their own early warning system. Bird calls. The golden eagle passes over one of Ertzi's fellow shepherds working above the high pastures. It's a position of great responsibility. The village below depends on him. A lone chamois panics. The cliffs are a precarious ladder of precipices, and the eagle uses this. beautiful, you have to care about your looks. Watch what you eat. Keep in great shape. And of course, choose the safest car in its class according to Europe's latest independent tests. The new Renault Megane. Stay beautiful. Alka selts are excess. Helps you get over your hangover. Because different people may benefit from different vitamins and minerals, Boots are offering any three packs for the price of two on a selected range. 
And because we're concerned with your wealth, as well as your health, it's the most expensive pack that's free. One day she won't reach for your hand anymore. Dad! Let's go! So, how are you going to hold on to her? Maybe with the memories you share at our year-long Walt Disney World Millennium Celebration. Come and make the kind of memories you'll hold on to forever. Celebrate the future hand in hand. For a free video that'll make planning your magical Walt Disney World holiday in Florida both easy and fun, just call 08705 0001 today. Pets can get ill just like us. Pet Plan Insurance can help pay the bills. Call Pet Plan free on 0800 020 030. Don't miss the winter sale at DFS. More choice, more savings, with double the sale discount on many items. Double your savings on this leather sofa, just 485. Double your savings on this stylish three-seater sofa, only 399. And that's not all. DFS gives you three years free credit. And there's nothing to pay for a whole year. Double discount means double savings today through to New Year's Day in the DFS sale. I want to be stuck in a dead-end job. I have nothing to look forward to. To never be told, thank you. To be a creep. To be bullied by my boss. Yes, Mr. Smith. Thank you, Mr. Smith. To never be asked my opinion. To never have an opinion. To pretend to myself I like my job. You're just a click away from the job you deserve. From only £10,295, with ABS power steering and 0% finance as standard on all new Renault Megans, it doesn't take much to stay beautiful. In the prehistoric world of late Neolithic man, neither eagle nor shepherd will pass up a free meal. The bird must find food for its chicks elsewhere. But nature is a generous provider. Not just occasional wild game, but wild plants are there for the taking. Mushrooms and toadstools provided Ertzi with food, firelighters, antiseptics and painkillers. Some are hallucinants. Others, like the deadly nightshade, poisonous. All are gathered. The Neolithic drug of choice is opium from cultivated poppies, but fly agaric is picked for its special properties, as a doorway to a hidden world, a world of signs and secrets. Now is the time when communication with the spirits is easiest. The plants are at their most potent. The men of the village are about to visit that other world and undergo healing. Like many farmers, they have arthritic joints. Tattoos mark places that cause them pain. Oh, 
The intermediary familiar with the ways of the world beyond is the shaman. Only at the full moon can he talk to the demons causing Ertzi's backache. The shaman is also a medicine man. With skillful use of the toadstools, he can induce visions. He adds the deadly nightshades too for a different reason. Ertzi is the one who's come for treatment. His back is aching. The anaesthetic soon takes effect. He's about to gain another tattoo, his 47th. The healer punctures his skin with a fine bone needle to make a cut. This time, the acupuncture spot is over the site of the pain itself. There is little blood as the nightshade reduces the circulation. Ertzi feels hardly any discomfort. Acupuncture was thought to be of Chinese origin, dating back 3,000 years. Yet Ertzi underwent treatment in Europe 2,000 years earlier. To make the effects of the acupuncture permanent, charcoal made from animal bones is rubbed in. Now he can face the cold weather ahead. Autumn gives way to winter overnight. This is a world of sudden changes, where survival depends on adapting to nature's whims. The dark months are the bleakest time, when stores and supplies run low. The thick thatch provides insulation. Wild animals are forced closer. Hemmed in by the steep, snow-laden slopes, the resilient villagers gather fuel for their fires. They're wise enough to know that the wolves pose no real danger to them, but threaten their livestock. The wolf pack's presence may even have benefits. There may be opportunities for the men to scavenge. With their U bows, which can kill at up to 50 meters, the men can take on a lone wolf.
with metal bladed axes. Drying or smoking will preserve the meat. Some of the tough strips go to the males, who shoulder the heaviest work. Ertzi's teeth were heavily worn in one area, perhaps from softening leather. Fruits and berries from the storeroom sustain the women and sick children. Scraps will be fed to another precious resource. Like the other livestock penned in the village for the winter, the pigs are a key source of meat. Ertzi and his companions have all the domestic animals of today, save the horse. The restrictive conditions make this a time for crafts, making tools and weapons. 5,000 years ago, everyone knew how to do everything, but specialists were beginning to emerge. Their skill lay in the newest technology, making objects of metal. Today, few families can build a house, grow their own food, make their own clothes or cast tools. 3,000 years before Christ, Ertzi is doing just that. Leather bellows connect to pipes of clay. They drive up the heat of the charcoal. He's traded for copper. The nuggets will be smelted and purified in the crucible. It needs to reach over a thousand degrees Celsius. The clay mold is in two halves, joined when it is filled. Arsenic is produced during the process. Traces were found in Ertzi's hair.
If he's successful, he will have a new copper hatchet blade, strong enough to cut through hard woods. The metal bladed axe will be everyday tool, emergency weapon, and status symbol all in one. All that's left to do is break off the fins and give it an edge. Ertzi is a man of the Copper Age, but the skills of the Stone Age are not forgotten. Shaping the thin blades of flints is a delicate task. Ertzi was carrying a retoucheur, like a giant wooden crayon containing an antler bone lead. Its point chips away the flakes. Two arrows in Ertzi's quiver were tipped in this way. He also carried a razor sharp blade. Analysis showed he used it to cut feathers to stabilize his arrows. Birch tree tar seals the flights on and beds in the tip. The shafts themselves are light hardwood. Even in difficult conditions, equipped with tough weapons and a waterproof cape of a type still worn in the 20th century, Ertzi could risk forays. Four centimeters. Believe me, it can make a lot of difference. With four centimeters extra lateral suspension track, for example, you get superb handling and impeccable road manners. So you see, with suspension geometry, as with so much in life, size matters. makes a bacon sandwich. The Imperans for the ultimate cheese on toast. At the home base sale, hundreds of products have been chopped to half price. And there's also double points this Thursday. So get down to the home base sale. Chop, chop. Moburn's January sale is now on at over 200 showrooms nationwide. Every kitchen's half price. Integrated appliances are half price. And installation is included in the price of every kitchen. What's more, this week there's an extra 10% off every range and a free dishwasher with every kitchen. Call 0800 413 413 for your nearest Moburn showroom.
flat screen televisions for a digital age. What's that, Dad? Mutual? Well, um, standard life's mutual. Yeah, but what's it mean? Well, it just means that Standard Life puts its customers first, because it is known by any shareholders. So who owns them, then? Uh, I suppose we do, in a way. So I'm the boss's son? Standard Life, for pensions, investments and banking. Book a JMC or other foreign holiday at Thomas Cook and get up to 15% off, plus a free weekend break for two in the UK. So now even booking feels like a holiday. Notebooks and finance, free insurance, and a lot of other room. The new Clio from Renault. Size matters. Eager to supplement their last supplies of dried meat, Ertzi and his companion venture out in their warm coats. Others too are well insulated, like the snow hare. The Iceman's ears are muffled in his bearskin hat. The gods are not with him today. first signs of the coming thaw arrive. There was no early warning for this ibex. For shepherds out searching for stray goats, however, it's another opportunity for an extra meal. Ertzi had ibex bones with him, though he did not have a surplus gram of fat on his one meter sixty body. He weighed about fifty kilos, enough to call for care on thin ice. The lighter sea eagle is more at home here. Men and harpoons are clumsy by comparison. His tunic and leggings are soaked. He'll have to strip down to his loincloth to dry off. But the return of spring is not far away.
alpine flowers and crocuses reappear. The paths to other villages reopen. Others too emerge from winter hibernation. old adversary's scent is all too fresh. He must be very close. The enemy is hungry, but weak after his long fast. A good time for determined men to take him on. The bear that terrorized the village will feed it for a week. His skin will provide clothes and soles for shoes. Fortunately, they have up to 14 arrows each. he doesn't want to risk a bear hug. Unsheathing their flint daggers, they begin the skinning. The victors take on the bear's strength. The claws are much prized trophies. With the bear gone, life regains its even tempo. Villagers have their allotted tasks. Some soften hides, others prepare meat for drying and smoking.
Families sow and harvest their crops. But nature is inexplicable. The gods of the woods and mountains are sometimes suddenly enraged. They thunder and hurl angry bolts. They can be malicious. In such a small community, the death of a leading individual can have terrible consequences. Whether it's a result of divine intervention, a natural catastrophe, or a man-made dispute, some untoward occurrence precipitates the final events of Ötzi's life. An attack by friend or foe, an accidental fall, something breaks his quiver. Cursed, banished or on the run, he leaves taking with him everything he needs to survive for a long time. Perhaps nursing ribs broken while falling, he drags himself towards the mountains in a place of safety. Using his tools and repair kit, he starts to shape a new bow of yew. He also stripped 12 new arrow shafts of their bark. Among his remaining rations is a slow berry, only ripe at the end of September. This tiny fruit is crucial evidence in dating his last hours. His fateful journey leads him 3,000 meters up towards a pass still used by Italian shepherds. Exhausted, he carries his clues across time towards us today.
His clothes alone extend our knowledge of European costume by 1,500 years. Whether he was pursued, why he came this way, and why he stopped, we're still uncertain. Scientists continue to decipher the messages he brings. Ertzi, the Iceman, lived and died five millennia ago. Yet his final resting place now lets us see that he was very much like one of us today. We'll be going back in time once more, this time to the 10th century in AD 1000 at 7 o'clock on New Year's Eve. Over there is one of the most...